Welcome in this quick video guide. My name is Salam. I'm a web designer, web developer and graphic designer. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use scroll effect. Smooth scroll effect actually. So you can see uh, this template. If I just click on the projects, then I will go to the project area. But you can see the smooth scrolling effect as well. Okay. So that's what we going to do in this video. So let me go to my web page and if I just open my editor then you can see I have already connected the bootstrap.css and jkd.js. It's all up to you if you want to use bootstrap or if you don't want to use bootstrap. Okay. So in the body here uh, I'm using bootstrap so I will use the bootstrap navigation as well. So I'm just going to go to the get bootstrap.com then components and let's say navbar okay so this is the snippet that I'm going to use in my page so let me copy this and I need to paste this snippet in my body tag okay so you can see if I just save this and reload my page then you can see I just have a nice menu okay so in this menu bar I don't need this form element I don't need this never left if I just save this and reload my page then you can see the changes okay so here I don't need this drop down ally as well and here okay and I don't need this flood as well so if I just save this and reload my page then you can see brand and link so let's add some menu item so here I'm gonna say section space one sorry okay so the targeted ID will be one so I'm gonna copy this ally paste 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 and let's say this time section two targeted ID would be 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. Okay, so just save this and reload the page and you can see this section 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so in the navigation, I will use the inverse navigation as well. So let's say inverse. And this is all the, also the bootstrap standard okay so now we just need to define our sections so after the nav I'm gonna have a div with the ID of let's say 1 and I'm gonna give some style to this div so let's say mean height is 1000 px and let's say background would be red if I just reload my page okay nothing happening uh, mean height div id1 style background okay so if I just reload my page then you can see the changes okay so here I'm, uh, I'm gonna have four sections so I'm gonna copy this and let me paste this code three times and the second section would have background color of let's say green and ID of 2 then third will be let's say gray ID is 3 4 and let's say background would be let's say yellow so if I just save my page and reload my front end then you will see the changes as well okay so um, let's make the menu sticky so here we have a bootstrap standard as well so let's say uh, nav bar I guess fixed dash top I think it should work okay so it's working now you can see if I just click on section 4, section 3, section 2, section 1 okay so it's working so let's add some smooth scrolling effect so you just need to go to the google.com and let's search for improved well 
let's say any mitted scrolling sorry scrolling um, script okay so you can see the first link just follow this link and you will find a code snippet so just copy this code snippet and let's say after the script make sure you have already connected the jQuery file as well so let's say script paste here so if I just reload my page then you can see this mu oh sorry smooth scrolling effect okay wow cool so what if you just want this effect in your navigation okay so just because uh, right now we have just targeted the all anchor elements but I just want this in my navigation so let's check the nav structure so you can see the class nav then ally then a so we just need to write let's say dot nav ally a so let me save this and then you can see it's working now okay so what if you just want to increase or decrease the scrolling delay time so you can set your time here so let's make it 3000 3 seconds so if I just reload my page and go to the section 3 now you can see it's taking 3 seconds okay so I think that's all for this video thank you